Well, hello there, everybody. Dre here, and welcome back to Instruments of Destruction. You might be wondering how I got here. Well, uh, this thing's a little over the top. Let me show you. <laughs> welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Um, yeah, we're gonna have to restart that island. So this is the punch tank, but I think punch is an understatement. This thing is absolutely insane. Also, look at this new map. We got bridges to explore. Okay, what? What? That just pushed me back. It does say use the 120 hertz physics and joint stabilizer options in the physics part, yada, yada, yada. Um, don't know what that is, so I should probably turn that on and maybe we'll fix it. Well, it looks like I already have that on, so this is working as intended. That's scary. Can I, like, stick to the ground, please? Let's let's try that again. I gotta get some force on it. There we go. Okay, okay. You know what? This is as dangerous to me as it is to the enemy. Ah, there we go. That was a little bit better. The recoil on this is freaking insane, though. I would not recommend going to war with this thing. Anyways, yeah, we're going to be checking out some more creations today, obviously starting off with this one. I also have a good, or at least I think it's a good idea for a build. So hopefully we can get around to doing that as well. Um, But yeah, welcome back. It's, I, I've missed this game. It's it's insane. It's insanely stupid, and I love it. All right, we got another totally normal creation here. I have no idea what this is. This does, but it's called Home Wrecker. And when it looks like a house, I just get excited. I don't know why. There's a lot of buttons here we, we can press. I should probably have figured out what exactly this thing does. Whoa, whoa. Okay, so this is a tank house. Is it? Is, is that what you're telling me? All right, what does left shift do? Oh my God. Uh, maybe I should open that door first. Okay, what did I do now? I should really learn how to play these, but I want to experience it with you guys. There we go. Ah, yes. Do we have freaking assault rifles in this game now? I didn't even know that was a thing. Ah, oh, this is great. Well, this looks like a fun-filled time. Welcome to the pile driver, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, yeah, I think we got to set this one up. I don't think I have to explain this one, do I? I do like this whole tire design. This actually works really well. Okay, so we get nice and cozy with a house, or building, rather. There we go. There's also this key. Okay, that's exciting. I wish I could just drop it. I think I just got to go down with this. And there we go. Goodbye, entire building. Okay, this might be one of the craziest engineered pieces of destruction that I've seen. It's called the Altar of Pain. Uh, fitting name, if you ask me, because check this out. It's just essentially a spinning platform. Now, obviously, though, this thing, there we go, takes off. And if I'm smart enough, you can fully control this in air. Let's see if I am. So we can move this way, lean this way. Wow, it's actually a lot more stable than I expected. Uh, I'm going a bit high here. I just got, I have to learn as I go. Let's go forward. There we go. It's kind of beautiful. All right, all right. There we go. Drop it down. It's hard to move it forward fast. I'm still very much learning, though. There we go. Drop it. Yes! Oh, my God. No, no. Hold on. Hold on. Oh, God. Oh, God. Okay, hold on. Wow. I didn't crash it there. I'm actually surprised. We didn't do much damage, though, but I'm still kind of learning to control this. Ah, uh, yes. Okay, so we got the main tower down. <laughs> What's great about this is I can just keep going. I just got to be very slow with it. I actually don't think it's very easy to crash. So I want to go for the bridge. That's why I did this thing. Let's go over here. All right, stabilize it. Is that good? I think it's good. We can drop it down now and slow it down. Hold on, that's too much. Okay, so the up and down is very aggressive. That's one thing I'm learning. Yeah! <laughs> oh, can I stabilize it again? Hold on, hold on, hold on. It seems to be auto-stabilizing. Did you see that cord? It was stuck in my thing and it just shot it out. Okay, and going in for the pile drive. Yes! Just like a freaking drill. That's exactly what I wanted. <laughs> I don't know how this thing has auto-stabilization. I don't think I'm going to be able to stabilize it now because I'm upside down. But that is the destruction that I wanted. How freaking beautiful. Okay, turn it off. Ah. <sighs> That was fun. All right, somebody just designed a high-speed rail system, so something a little bit different here. Uh, again, it looks pretty cool. We, of course, have a wrecking ball on it as well. And don't wreck myself, Jesus. All right, let's just take this thing for a spin and <laughs> see what it's all about. So it's literally just a little rail system. Oh, yeah, there we go. Some drive-by shootings. <laughs> this, is, 
This is so weird. I love, I love it. So yeah, this is the first like train type of system I've seen. Obviously, there'll probably be more sooner or later, but yeah, this is just really neat. Okay, now we have a seemingly normal cube, but nothing is normal in this game. This is actually Mark II. There was an original cube. I don't remember if I showed that or not, uh, but essentially there is nine different functions that this thing can do, and they're all a surprise. Never tried it out. Um, I did test out the movement, and I don't think I'm supposed to press these buttons, as you can clearly see. So I'm going to reset it and I'm just going to go up the list, pressing one all the way to nine and see what happens. So here we go. One. Okay. Now can I? Yes. Okay. We have somewhat movement. I mean, it's not the most uh, majestic of uh, bots, but hey, it's, it's kind of moving. <laughs> all right. So that was one. What is two? Oh my God. Oh God. Uh, so we have lasers. Cool. Still can't really control this very well, but hey, that's fine. Can I put those away now? Let's stop that. Three. Oh, God. <laughs> this is so cool. <laughs> Unfortunately, I'm not aimed at anything. Let's re reset this and actually aim it up. All right, so we'll try that again. I doubt it's going to be a direct hit. It's probably going to go over it anyways, but I can dream. All right, so we missed with that one. Uh, four. Oh, my God. Uh... Okay. I don't think it was supposed to implode on myself. Again, we're going to have to reset this a few times. It's it's actually absurdly complex. Why does it blow up right away? Let him, let him go out first. This is just fun. I never know what to expect. All right, here we go. Five. Oh, God. Oh, God. Why is it so inaccurate? Oh, this is... It's trying to kill me more than the enemy. I like these, though. So those are just going to be dancing around now. Let's continue going forward here. What What did... What just happened? There we go. Oh, yeah, that was actually a good hit. Dude, this thing has so much disastrous power. What's this? Okay, more freaking lasers. These ones are bigger. Eight. Oh, my God. <laughs> what the hell is that? Is that like a, a back defense? All right, I thought we'd try eight uh, actually hitting something. So let's try this. And... Oh, my God. I didn't realize there was a vacuum as well. Oh, that might have been my favorite. Yeah, that was really cool. Okay, and finally nine. I'm not really aiming at anything, but let's just see what nine... Oh, what the hell? What is that? Is that a little car? Is that what I can use to drive around? Oh, it's stuck. Hold on. Let me out. Let me explore. What, does it just get... Is it stuck in here? Hold on. Oh, you know what? Maybe I have to use the legs. There we go. That's probably it. Now I'm free. And I just flipped it first try. Okay, great. Well... That was fun. Okay, and then the next one is a net projector. I think Scrapman made one of these as well. This is made by somebody else, but um, yeah, absolutely awesome looking design. And there's nothing more enjoyable than uh, destroying something with a massive net. All right, so I'm not sure how far this thing's gonna go. So we're just gonna kind of aim it here. See if we can enclose this whole building with this. And cue to shoot. Oh my God. Oh my God, that's way more than I expected. <laughs> Dude, that was so fun. I think we got to get a bit closer. It kind of like stretches too much to the point where it's not a net. It's just a line of fabric. All right, so I'm just going to intentionally bear hug this thing. There we go. And lift it up just a little bit. And be free, my nets. <laughs> that is just so fun. And this kind of gives me an idea on what I want to do today as well. All right, so I saw this the other week on Reddit, and I said immediately I have to try and design this in Instruments of Destruction. I didn't know these things existed. It's a tank using a Deming cord, and basically what they're designed for is to clear minefields without, you know, risking lives. So check this out. It shoots this massive cord, and once you see it land, you'll realize what's going on. Essentially, the whole cord blows up, and as, as I said, it's made for minefields, but it can also be made to destroy anything. So I thought we would try and do that. I don't know if it's going to be possible in Instruments of Destruction with the current landscape of things I can use. I believe the only explosive is the bomb, the fixed bomb. This is 1,200 kgs, and putting this on a cord is going to be interesting to see if I can control it in the air. 
because, well, it's a heavy piece of machinery. Actually, one of the most heavy... Actually, it's the heaviest thing in here besides the heavy foot, which is a fitting name for it. So, yeah, it might not be perfect. It would be great if we just had, like, explosive cord. I don't think... Yeah, there's nothing like that in the game just yet. Or just a lighter bomb. That would be nice because this thing is, like, insanely sized. But I'm going to try it, damn it. We'll see what we can do. This might be a total failure, but I really want to design this thing. It sounds fun. Okay, so here's my first idea. Um, again, probably not going to work, but at least it's something. So essentially what I have on the front is this toggleable switch to drop this rocket. And behind that rocket, why is this spinning? What? Stop that. That's annoying. It might just be the train. I hope it's the train. Anyways, uh, do doesn't matter. We can figure that out later. So I can direct this wherever I want it to go. And we can attach a rope of bombs behind this, assuming this works. So first of all, we'll put the rockets on. Oh, oh, maybe I should put it on the same button. Okay. That gets me excited, though. If two rockets can pull this whole thing up, why is this doing this? Stop moving. How am I going to aim this thing if it's constantly moving? It might be that the treads are touching each other. I think that's probably going to be it. Worst case, I can always just put wheels on this thing and fix that. But yeah, I'm going to put the disconnect and the rockets on the same button so they turn on at the same time. And essentially... Okay. What the hell? Yeah, that's cool. All right. Well, essentially, if we put some weight behind that, hopefully it just flies through the air perfectly. It's not going to happen, but I can dream. All right, so I'm going to lift this up by one. Uh, I designed it this way because I want the, the uh, bombs to be in the way of nothing. These bombs will explode on impact. So essentially, I designed my whole structure around this. I'm going to have the bombs directly on the ground. I feel like that's the best bet for a smooth takeoff. I hope we'll find out pretty soon here. So I'm just going to redesign this and up it by one. So I have the room for the bombs. And what we're going to do is just... Add a bunch of these here for right now. And then I'm going to delete every three or so. Hopefully that should give me a few bombs at least. Oh, that worked out well. Look at that. It's like, it's like I calculated it. So we're going to have three bombs on this rope. So we're going to add cables between these attach points. And yeah, we're just going to put some bombs on the bottom because that's safe. Dragging bombs on the ground. This could be a bad idea. I don't know. Uh, we can do the tune strength. I believe that means how easily it explodes possibly so we'll just up that for right now because i don't want it exploding right away all right and there we go we have okay well we have to put this on the ground as i said i knew that would happen okay we're gonna drop that down that's cool i might actually need to design a platform because i'm still gonna be dragging these things but that's good that's what i wanted can i even drive with this though yeah okay okay this might be better than expected sweet Watch it work first try. It's going to blow my mind if, if that's the case. All right, so here we go. First made in flight. Uh, again, not that long right now, but we can always add more later. Oh. Is there a toggle on explosion on these? Because that shouldn't have exploded. Yes. Okay. Let's let's put that on a different button. So it looks like you can either impact these for explosion or just press a button to explode them. Didn't want that to happen. Try again here. Again, aim it up. Ooh, this cord's a little too rigid, but that's okay for right now. And that is what I worried about. That's kind of nice. I like it. That's fun, but that's not flying through the air. That's, uh, that's, <laughs> I don't know what that is doing. There it goes. Now it's flying through the air. I can't believe this thing hasn't exploded. All right. I don't like the cables and I need to, you know, get flight. That's kind of the goal here. All right. I have a thinner cord. It drops. See, that's why I wanted to hold it. I... <laughs> you know what? Even if it doesn't work, that's just as fun. It's like a danger snake. That worked out really well. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get this to fly. That's why I wanted uh, the jets and the disattachment on a different toggle. Because I wanted to give the jets time to uh, prime up before the, it started flying. All right. So my ghetto solution was to add some heavy feet. So when they touch the ground, we essentially stick... And now, hopefully, I can charge these things up, as I assumed. What was the button to disconnect? There we go. Ooh, wobbly. That's exciting. Okay. Again, I was worried about the weight and already having weight issues. Let's try and uh, incline this a little bit more. And please get flight. Please. Yes. Yes, my beautiful creation. So I can turn that off. You know what? This might actually freaking work. Okay, so I have uh, double the bombs now, I believe. Yeah, 
six bombs. This is so janky. I kind of love it, though. Uh, all right, let's try this out. I just want to see if I can even get flight. I think this is a good amount. We're not going to be able to make a massive rope. Oh. Putting my foot down has exploded the final bomb. Was that the shockwave that exploded it? Interesting. Okay, so we got six rockets and let go. Oh! <gasps> I got it. I think that's it. I don't even know if I need. We, we can slow these down a bit. That was a bit fast. So we'll do 0 0.7. That was perfectly straight. I just didn't turn off the engines. All right. So let's try that again. Maybe that was just a fluke. Let's not get too excited just yet. But that was perfectly straight through the air, which is very exciting. Uh, maybe I should lock this one up. I don't like that it dances around. <laughs> Regardless, we'll worry about that in a second. So E, T, and... What happened there? Okay, you know what? I am going to lock that one up. I want no movement until we get flight. See, the downside is now I'm pulling it, and I feel like that's going to screw it up in the air. But that's okay. Let's just try it. E. T. E. Oh! I mean, it was flying not very high, but that is exactly what I freaking wanted. Now it just comes down to user error. Okay, so I added some front feet so we can actually uh, charge this sucker up. I feel like if I go to a certain incline, it doesn't work anymore. So we might not be the best at getting large-scale flight, but that's okay. Now I can actually charge it, and... <laughs> you know what? Dude, this is so cool regardless. I mean, it's stupidly complex, but it's getting better and better. Let's try and go high again. That's when it screws up the most. So I just want to do it over it. Why... Why are my feet not working? It's it's too much power, I think. So yeah, after a certain angle, I have to let it go early, unfortunately. So I don't think we're going to get the, the high flight that I was hoping for, at least with this build. But that's okay. Let's let it go before things happen. And why did it stop? Why does it not stop when it gets a certain distance away? There it is. There it is. I mean... I think that's as good as we're going to get it, guys. I just love that I have it flying straight. I think my actual chassis design could be improved to the point where uh, it doesn't get in the way because I feel like this downwards aiming swivel isn't the best idea for this. Maybe putting it above the actual chassis would be the smartest idea. Regardless, uh, it did a lot better than I expected. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed another episode of Instruments of Destruction. Let me know if you have any suggestions on improving this thing to actually get a decent rope bomb. Uh, but yeah, I had fun designing it. I hope you guys had fun watching the chaos. And yeah, as always, guys, thanks for watching and liking. I'll see you in the next one.